Namaste, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another fun video where my TV jar will be uh, deciding my next read. So in this video I am going to prepare my TV list and I am going to pick one among all these books which are in my TV for so long. Some of these books are half finished by me but uh, Today I am going to uh, let my TBR jar decide my next read. So watch me uh, preparing my TBR list and enjoy watching me picking up one of these books for my next read. So let's get started. So I am going to prepare my TBR list in a hidden love uh, Chinese drama style. If you are a Chinese drama lover, then you know what I mean. I'm going to prepare a TBR list for these books in that style. So that is one of my favorite dramas. And so I'm going to recreate uh, making it. One night passed by, one light stars in your eyes. They were shining like none of them could. So I'm writing all the titles of these books which are in my TBR and I'll uh, prepare uh, stars from these next. They were shining like none of them could be mine. <laughs> I prepared the star but that didn't uh, look exactly like a star and it didn't turn out as I expected so I'm going to prepare these again so this time I'll be preparing it um, long I mean I'll make sure that the strips are long so that the stars come out well Actually, I don't have color papers in my home, so please excuse me with these white ones. So, if you are my subscriber, you know that I purchased this book uh, in Unlimited Books uh, Fair. So. Yep, this book is in my TBR and I haven't read it yet. So, this is my first one. And next one is The Namesake. So, this uh, is my older buy. I mean, my father gifted me this some years ago. I don't remember, but this is the oldest book I own. So, yep, this also I uh, left uh, it half finished. So, this time I decided to read it completely so I'm adding it in my TBR list and the next one is the time of my life and this is also uh, my per one of my purchases in unlimited book fair so I haven't read it yet so And next one is a special one. I purchased it based on the recommendation in a bookstore. I mean, I got uh, recommended by the person who is uh, there in the bookstore. So, yep, I purchased this and I haven't read it yet. I don't know, but yeah, I am in 253 pages or so. I <laughs> marked this. 
but i didn't uh, found the right mood to read this book because it is somewhat uh, a kind of book which needs your full attention so i haven't uh, found uh, the right time to read it so i decided to definitely include this book in my tbr and next one is the neblind die and this is also one of my purchases from unlimited book fair and and next book is the diary of a young girl and yes um i have read uh, 61 pages and i bookmarked this so that i'll continue reading it from this but i haven't found a uh, time to complete reading this so i've decided to add this in my tbr next one is a special book which i purchased it uh, with so much excitement and love because this book is pretty much high rate yeah this book cost it 450 and i got it uh, for 430 or something on amazon and i purchased it with so much excitement to read it but i haven't uh, completed reading it i think i read few pages but i haven't uh, found um surplus in reading like uh, this uh, book took me two to three times to reread it so that i can understand i didn't understood it in one reading so and this is a kind of special book which needs my full attention so i think i should uh, reread it from the beginning and next book is a touch of eternity and also this is in my tbr for so long and i haven't read it yet but yeah this time i'm hoping to read it next one is the vacancy and this is also one of those books which um makes me reread it i read it almost uh, till the end but i haven't understood uh completely so i thought i should reread it definitely because uh some books uh need to be understood in uh, two or uh, maybe one time or maybe in two times so this is kind of book which uh, needs me to be read two times to understand so yep i'm going to reread it if i pick this in my tbr jar so and the last book is when i'm with you and this is also one of my reads that i didn't enjoy it completely but i should read it because i purchased it so it is that kind of book which um, makes me read uh, just for the sake that i own it so yep i almost read it half or so but i didn't enjoy it much so i thought i should re definitely reread it so that uh, maybe i'll complete reading Uh, so that uh, my uh, bookshelf is only uh, mean my bookshelf contains the books only the books which i read so yep one night passed by one life starts so i'm able to fold this well i am hoping that the star comes out good I think I made it right this time because see? now I'm sure you'll be able to see this star. It was shining like none of them could be mine. I'm not sure can I dream. So basically, I'm a K drama lover, but sometimes I watch Chinese dramas too on uh, recommendations from my friends or uh, based on the reels I watch on Instagram. <laughs> you know that feeling, right? If you are a K drama lover and Chinese drama lover, yeah, some uh, reels, some shots on YouTube uh, make me watch that whole drama. So, yeah. that is how i watched uh, hidden love and i loved it so much so much 
that uh, here i am preparing the stars which the female lead in that drama prepares for the hero so yeah this was so much fun tell me in the comments if you are a k drama lover or chinese drama lover too and i think if you found the right person here because yeah i love books i love k dramas and if you love them too then uh, let's be friends So finally, I'm done with this, and here I have the ten stars. I can't show you properly, but yeah, I'm so happy that I finally made it. So finally, I'm here with my TV Archa with the ten stars with ten titles of my TV list. and i'm super excited to pick one from this and here it is so so i'll uh, make sure that i shake them well so see i'm shaking it too well and don't blame me that I'm not being honest. Just now, I felt like why not picking uh, three? Because why not reading back to back three books from my TBR for you all? I'll make sure that I'll record a video of myself uh, reading all these three, which I'm gonna pick up. So, so yeah. Here is my first star, and see how cute it is. This feels so good. I don't know why I'm comparing uh, myself with a female lead in Hidden Love, but yep, I'm feeling so uh, good that I'm doing something like her. See, first I want to show you all before I see ya. So the title is the namesake. So this is the book that I'm going to read first. I got my first title, and here goes. the next book yeah yeah this is my next book from my tbr and also i'm going to show you all first so it's the god of small things i'm glad that i picked this book in my top 3 picks because i'm um, i mean my heart is with this book but i'm not finding the right uh, moment to reread it again because i have said before i didn't understood most of the book and i stopped reading and i kept it aside for so long and now i finally got the chance to reread it from the beginning and yep i hope i enjoy reading this and uh, don't forget to stay tuned because i'm gonna be back with 
another video where I'll be reading the books which I am picking up now. And here goes the last book of this video which I'm going to read. And it's okay. It's Turn a Blind Eye by Jeffrey Archer. I remember the author's name too because I've been seeing that book uh, since a long time, and now I found the right uh, time and right moment to read it. So this is Turn a Blind Eye, and yep, I'm done with picking up the books for my next reads from my TBR. And I'm hoping to complete reads before this year ends and I'll make sure that I'll be posting uh, reading vlogs of these three books. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't and thank you so much for watching this video till the end. So until next time, bye bye.